I'm glad you're in my kitchen with me. My name is Diane Rogers and I want to show you some really easy summer vegetable recipes. Everything's starting to come in season right now at our local farm market and I'm in at the Toledo Farmers Market. All my farmer buddies are there and there's just so much even though they're Southern Ohio tomatoes they're wonderful. We've got sweet corn. We just have so much. But here's some here's some real easy stuff I want to show you. A big it'll be a family dish that the entire family should like and very versatile. You use whatever you've got. Now, I've got a couple eggplant that I bought from some farmer friends out in Thurman's in Grand Rapids, Ohio. And they were number twos. They were really inexpensive, but they're really good. So what I'm going to do with this is make two dishes. One, the baked vegetables. And I want to make myself a little baba ganoush. It's such a great snack and it holds well in the refrigerator and it's easy. So I am going to take the eggplant and I think I will use, I'm going to use the larger one for the baba ganache. All I do is on a sheet tray, 400 oven until it's done. This size, my guess, is probably going to be 45 minutes or so. And then we'll turn it into the dip. This took about 45 minutes in the oven. Now, how did I know when it was done? I stuck the knife in and it pierces through really easy unbelievably easy. So while that's cooling so that I can handle it, I have <clears throat> some fresh mint from the garden. Now this is another one much like basil. You don't want to use the stem. So the easiest way to clean this, much like rosemary and thyme, is grab it from the top and take your fingers whoops, and strip it to the bottom. If it's a nice long piece it's easy to do. You just hold it and pull it and take the leaf off and then pinch the top off. And we're gonna chop this up. This is hard to put together like the chiffonade that you do with basil. But what I do is bunch it in my fingers, take the knife, again, make sure your fingers are curled, and then slice it into a fine slice. The easiest way to get a nice mince on this is work it in a square. Okay, I went back and forth that way, bunch it up, bring it to the top, that brings the biggest pieces to the top, turn it, and chop it a little bit more. And mint actually goes really quick. But working in a square gets you a little bit faster. Now we'll do the same thing with fresh parsley. I love fresh parsley. I really like the Italian parsley because it has a lot of flavor. Though I will say I'm not wild about Italian parsley for making dishes like tabbouleh, but for everything else, oh my God, the flavor is outstanding. So you take this, hold it by the stem, and just pull it between your fingers, and that will pull off the top leaf. These stems, I could use them. However, they're really big and they're a little bit tough because this was almost going to seed when I picked it. I have all of the large stem out and just tiny stems remain, that'll be fine. Now the easiest way to do parsley, again, is bunch it in your fingers and the same thing as the mint, give it a quick chop like that. Just be careful, make sure your fingers are turned under. Then when it gets to the final two, do that. Turn it around. When I used to do this in a restaurant, one of my restaurant friends who'd been cooking his entire life showed me a really fast way to do it. Use two knives and hold them together. Kind of challenging, but after a while, if you do a lot of parsley, you get the hang of it. And so, now we have parsley done. So we have parsley and mint. I already have some garlic cleaned, two cloves in the press. Oh, two cloves not in the press. Now two cloves are in the press. I have some extra virgin olive oil, a little salt, a little fresh lemon, and tahini. You want to use some good tahini. This is imported from Lebanon. We have a Middle Eastern store in Toledo that sells this stuff. It's really good. And if you don't have 
access to a Middle East market, then you might want to, you can order some really good stuff called Soom, S-O-O-M, tahini online. They make great tahini, imported. And if not, try and find something that is from Lebanon. It's the best. Now what we're going to do is take this eggplant and I'm going to take this end off. We're going to cut this in half. See how nice and soft that is? And I'm going to, it's still pretty hot, I'm going to just take this out and squeeze it or sort of peel the skin away in the bowl. My hands are sort of conditioned to this. You might have to wait for it to cool. Now there's a little bit that I like, you know, back to that waste not want not thing. You can see on the skin, there's a little bit left. So I'll take the back edge of a knife and just, well, it's got a curve in it, that figures. All right, so it's gonna be the front edge of the knife. And just peel that off and put it back in. I like to, I don't like to drain off the juice. I keep all the liquid from the eggplant in the bowl because we're going to want to use that. I like a little texture in my baba ganache eggplant dip. So what I'm going to do is take two knives. I'm gonna end up mashing this, but to get it started, take two knives and just cut through this. Now the reason I'm doing this in a bowl as opposed to the cutting board is obvious reasons, a mess. The less we have to clean up, the more fun this is, and the more you'll want to make it again. We also want to use a rubber spatula and bring the bottom up to the top to see where you should be cutting it a little bit more. There's some bigger pieces down on the bottom, so we'll cut that up a little bit. I know a lot of Middle Eastern places to get that smoky flavor. They put liquid smoke in the stuff, you know, to get that authentic charcoal. I don't think I'd be doing that. I would either grill it or oven it, and if you oven it, forget the smoky flavor. All right, so that's chopped up. It looks actually pretty good. Is I am going to add some tahini. Whenever you, whatever kind of tahini you end up with, hopefully something from Lebanon, you want to make sure that you stir all the way to the bottom because this naturally separates. That's just the way it is. And there's always some solids. Ah, there are always solids that are on the bottom of the container that you want to make sure you get up to use because that's where a lot of the flavor is. See how that's a little more solid at the bottom and runny at the top? And now... You can really see how solid it is, but it's kind of hard to mix in. You just have to kind of dig around with a long enough spoon. And this does take quite a bit of tahini because that's the flavor you want. And I would say to this one large eggplant that I used, and this was a rather large one, that's probably a good at least four to six ounces of tahini. Now we're gonna put in our parsley and mint. And then we're going to put in some fresh lemon juice. You can never have too much lemon. I really like these presses too, by the way. It gets all the juice out. We'll see, I have a feeling that's gonna take just a little bit more lemon, but we'll see. Then we want to add a little bit of salt. We want to add a good solid couple ounces of extra virgin olive oil because that too is adding quite a bit of flavor. Um, this isn't necessarily added in traditional baba ganoush, but I really like fresh pepper, so we're gonna add some. Then the garlic. Make sure to squeeze all that in. All right, now that clump of tahini is going to take a little bit to stir in. Almost have to chop it in. 
right now we'll mix this in really well this is so good it lasts for quite some time in the refrigerator because you're adding quite a bit of lemon and also adding some salt to it and that acts as a preservative so you can get at least 10 days in the refrigerator in the refrigerator out of this if you keep it cold and it's a really good spread or a side with chicken any kind of vegetables pita crisp pita chips pita bread and it's pretty darn healthy too i think it's going to take more tahini i can tell by looking at it so i'm going to pour a little bit more in there to make sure that i'm getting a good mix on it i'm going to use a masher and just go around the edge of the bowl a little bit because a masher will make sure that that tahini that was in that lump gets broken up and it'll just give this a really good mix as i suspected it needs more lemon i'm going to use this bottled juice it's from costco it's great stuff it doesn't have citric acid it's a nice clean lemon flavor shake it up well and i'm adding actually quite a bit because I think that this eggplant recipe does take quite a bit of lemon and with the nice clean lemon juice it's not going to add so much tart as it's going to add the flavor. Now this will firm up once it's in the refrigerator a little bit. It'll set just a little bit. Now this is warm as I'm tasting it because the eggplant's still warm. So when you taste this stuff make sure you're seasoning enough so that when it's cold you will still have quite a bit of flavor in it you want to be able to taste the teeny in this too if you can't taste the teeny add more like a good hummus that takes a lot of tahini and quite a bit of extra virgin olive oil of which i'm going to add a little bit more a good hummus takes quite a bit of good tahini too and that video should be up on my channel if you want to know how to make it but you want to make hummus in a blender, not a processor. Beyond perfect. The lemon comes through, the tahini comes through. Even though it, you think you're adding a little too much salt, the salt is what brings out the flavor. And for this quantity, that wasn't really too much. The extra candy onions that I had from the baked vegetables, oh boy, perfect with this stuff. Just perfect. So there you have it. Some really easy baba ganoush. On the grill, if you have the chance, put an eggplant on the grill and then just have everything else ready and it goes together quick. But it's best made a day or so in advance because then the garlic gets into it and the mint melts in. And like I say, it keeps for a good couple of days. You wanna give this a whirl. Even if you don't think you like eggplant, I'd like to bet that you'll really take a new liking to this one. Enjoy this, Baba Ganesh.